new sport imported from America is bowling the British public over like so many nine pins. Sorry, ten pins. And not just the young athletic types, but the whole family. Since the first bowling establishment was opened at Stamford Hill a year ago, it has captured the imagination of people from 8 to 80. Already, enthusiasts are buying their own equipment, although everything necessary is provided. There's a lot more technique entailed than you might think at first, each finely balanced bowling ball having finger holes to suit your own grip and varying in weight from 16 pounds to 10 pounds for children's competition. Apart from the fascination of the game itself, and there must be something about it because around 30 million Americans play regularly, the complex behind the scenes mechanization has to be seen to be believed and ranging from an automatic wash and shine to the ball return. The idea basically is to score as many points as possible by knocking down the pins. To get all ten is called a strike. These ABC bowling centers offer fun and enjoyment for the whole family and for a whole afternoon or evening. You could almost live here. This seemingly mad whirl of machinery, in fact a brilliant engineering feat, seems a far cry from what is after all a game. A far cry from, say, snooker or nine pins from which this American bowling developed. Here's a sport that women like as much as men, and some of them undoubtedly cut a fine figure on the lanes. They didn't always have this equality either, because although this electronic version of the game is new, it's known that the ancient Egyptians were playing over 7,000 years ago. Still, even they'd have to admit we've improved on it, and that bowling in Britain of the 1960s is proving, to borrow a bowling term, to be an undeniable strike.